three, two, one, youtube.com, Jamestown, California. I'm at Sunset Beach, California, slash Huntington Beach, California, right here at the State Beach. Across the street is the State Beach and State Park. And I've been surprised by the demolition of the original Sunset Beach brick layer section here and they demolished it for only one reason because homeless people gathered in this area and it wasn't really that many of them it was more like five six seven people at the most people would bring food and kind of gather it here they used to hang out or be across the street where they were allowed because it is a state beach and they destroyed that section where they fenced it off. And then it looked like they unfenced it. However, put signs where people can't sit there. So what happened is, this is the end result of a state and a city that is unable to handle a crisis such as the homeless crisis. I want people to know that the national emergency is the housing crisis. The reason why it's become an emergency is because all the new property that's being bought up in all the cities in the good areas or the bad areas they're being demolished with investment banker money coming from I don't know where it's coming from I call it bailout money coming into the cities and they're putting up structures that are absolutely too expensive to buy and too expensive to rent and what's happening is whenever a person moves from one place to another, it's not as easy as people think. And what's happening is there's a lot of people on the lower class, under the underclass, that have been squashed. And the cities and the states have, have so much money, they have no ability to make a difference by just simply writing a report coming up with an idea, making it a law, getting people to finance it. The reason why the homeless crisis is still an unsolved crisis is because no one is willing to invest the banking money to make it into a business. And that's the issue here. Otherwise, in 2018, it would have been an issue solved by simply finding solutions to have affordable housing whether it's in this county or in a different county, to at least alleviate some of the pain, such as what's happening in the major cities. What just happened here in Huntington Beach is absolutely appalling. They were willing to destroy a landmark that's been here from probably the beginning of the city because they were unable to talk to the people to get people homeless into housing and into jobs. So the COVID situation, what it did was divert all the money and all the attention from the actual national emergency to divert funds to put into their pet programs. And I'll give you a perfect example. The $1.9 trillion package. It comes to my attention that only a certain percentage is actually going to COVID. 9 and 10%. This is why the government is a fraud. You guys have fencing on your capital as if you're paranoid, as if you guys are all smacked out. And that's what it looks like from, from my perspective, that you guys look absolutely paranoid. But when you're putting only 9% of the money for COVID, what happens on the next relief package when you waste all the money that should have gone to COVID when the, a COVID package is needed? There's no money for a package. And that's what's happened to all the packages. All the packages that were supposed to go for COVID and for the national emergency went to pet projects to when another package was needed, the money wasn't there or it was stalled because the money went to pet projects or other things that were unrelated to COVID. Now they had an opportunity to solve the homeless crisis during the COVID situation, but the media, has no ability to make a difference on the left that they're worried about how they're going to inoculate the homeless versus putting a report in Chicago and how to house and get jobs for those homeless people 
And it's a lot worse in other cities. The reason why I'm doing this take is I came here surprised of what just happened. They were willing to destroy a landmark because they were unable to solve a crisis of the homeless crisis. And they keep pushing it off, pushing it off, pushing it off. And it's just ridiculous how there's so many ways to solve it. And the part of the reason why COVID spread was because of housing. Because you guys didn't give any relief packages to those that needed it. They were forced to go to work or forced to move, forced to go live with people that had COVID. It's just ridiculous. It's like a nursing home crisis all in one basket, which you guys did. I'm walking right now in the former landmark where this was demolished, the Sunset Beach area. And you would have a man here with his bike, another man here. You know, it just, what happens is, is when one or two bad people come in the mix here, then everybody starts looking at the attention. And I was starting to notice that a couple of weeks ago with just one person that I'm pretty sure that they were just not happy with. The rest of the people were pretty much not doing anything wrong and they're just locals. And you guys demolished this area. Across the street is a area where a person was killed from, I believe it was either Ocean View or Pacific High, Pacific High School. I think it was Pacifica High School. I'm going to double check that. On a drunk driver that came in where that car is coming and then hit another person, that person who died across the street. And that day there was a vigil on that Monday when I was here um, of a lot of people praying for that person. This is a praying-oriented community. I'm not sure how or who was the person who decided to destroy this landmark. Huntington Beach has been kind of wanting to annex Sunset Beach for a while. They legally own Sunset Beach, um, but this is what happens. Gavin Newsom and the rest, they don't understand they're being recalled. They're being recalled because of the national emergency. If you're not able to solve a simple crisis like the homeless, you're not able to solve the COVID crisis. And all the ways that you guys managed it was all dishonest, untrue, and the fact that it's the way it's being extended continuously is a, a whole different issue in itself. I'm going to leave the take right there. YouTube.com, Jamestown, California.